to fall. As the declaration is coming very close and the voting of the self-referendum voting will start in 14 days time. It is time to write the history and the stories what transpired since 2021. The story and the book that I will write as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, what I saw and what God used me to conquer will shock the world and the people involved will be held responsible because these are proof. Human beings that are involved are still alive to attest to what I have seen. Many people who have followed me have seen it, especially those in the security sector of this movement. This People were killing commanders, cutting off their head, giving it to a Jofo and a Marububu. Many people don't know this. Some people who hoisted flag during the time we hoisted our flag, these DOS criminals kidnapped some of them and killed them. For hosting Biafra flag in Biafra land, they did not steal, they did not kidnap anybody, they did not commit any crime. The only crime they committed is that they hoisted flag. How many of you remember when we hoisted flag? It was spiritual. We wanted to invoke the spirit of Biafra against all the betrayers and the enemies. Invoking the spirit to possess every cranny of Biafra land. Biafra flag was raised in 2022. DOS kidnapped some of the people that hoisted this flag and killed them. Not Nigeria army, not Nigeria police. But you know, this was targeted at distracting what we are doing. It was targeted at igniting internal war. I ignored all of them. I focused on the enemy, which is the Nigeria government. They did everything to provoke me to start internal war so that we are going to be distracted from the freedom movement. I ignored all of them because I have template. That template is the highest secret oath. Don't defeat. Focus and put your eye on the ball. No matter what happened, they have killed even those who they killed them. Thinking that after that, I will declare internal war against them. I have not done that. The people have declared this internal war, or if there is any war, continue to remain the security. Those who call themselves criminal security forces are the people that our arms are against. And the family of those they killed were very close to me. We'll also speak to Biafra people in due time. These are live witnesses, family of those people that these criminals have killed in this struggle. You are fighting for Biafra and killing people fighting for Biafra because they followed Simon Ekbert and followed autopilot. He killed them. Biafra don't know what has happened in this struggle. But I'm sharing this particular tip today because the road is clear. And we can see the light and the end of the tunnel. That's why I'm making this particular statement. Because Biafra is here. I have seen it. And when I told you, I know the date Biafra will come, they doubted me. They used propaganda, thinking that it is propaganda that you used to fight freedom. They said we counted 150 days. Biafra did not come. They said we said Biafra is going to come in 2023. Biafra did not come. These are people without vision. People that doesn't know their left and their right. They started using then gun, going to bushes to start shooting animals in the name of uh, chasing Fulani. We are not chasing any ethnic group from our land. I have made it very clear. If you go after ethnic group, you become a terrorist. We are not going after ethnic groups. We are going after the terrorist army, police and every Nigeria forces that carries gun. That is the people we are going after. Because once you go after them, you have uprooted the people in the bush. If you go after ethnic group in the name of Fatih Fulani, you are a terrorist. This is the international law that many idiots don't know. If you go after Fulani in the forest in the name of fighting terrorists, we know that they are terrorists, but you cannot go after ethnic group labeling them terrorists. You are a terrorist. We are going after the security, criminal, and terrorist forces who give them back up. That's why today, as we are dealing with this terrorist in uniform, you don't see anybody butchering our people in their villages because the backup has been uprooted. When the people giving their backup are running away from Biafra land, who is going to come to kill? Even those with their cow, they are very afraid to commit any crime because the people that they are using for backup are running away from Biafra. Any day they try it, we will visit them. The book we will write about this Biafra struggle will shock many because many people don't know what has happened behind